Hi there. So tonight I'm bringing you some beam shots of a flashlight that I just received, which is the Olight Javelot Mini. The flashlight was sent by the store flashlightgo.com. Check the link in the description. And well, I will try to show you what this flashlight does uh, outdoor in the beam, oh, in, in the night, in this case, in the dark. Um, the rest of the review is already uploaded, both here on the YouTube and on BLF. So, the flashlight has two modes, so if you slightly press, you will have a low mode, it's blinking, it's my fault, and then if you press a little bit more, it has the, the highest mode so this tree right here is around 15 meters this is what you have this is the gate over there the door this is a really defined beam but it has uh, lots of spill you cannot see it here let's see with the with the bigger one with the, the higher one you see the spill it has it is slightly dimmer of course in the lowest mode but uh, only in the camera it cannot be seen because in reality it is visible really there's a gate over there a building and then you we have a, a tree that you cannot see this way but you can see this way and that one is around 2000 meters away so this beam is really defined in the, the hot spots and it provides clear um, visibility. I will try to compare it with two other flashlights that I have here. One is an Eagle Eye X3R modified with LED for power LDA4 LED and Osram W1 white flat this is the type of beam that we have with it it's a narrower beam yeah it's in the highest mode you can see what it does to the tree and now let's compare it with uh, with the olight these are the types of beams that you have and this is what you get of course you it's completely different let's try to see the gate this one seems like a, a search light the O light on the left and this one is the X3 modified and then I will show you another flashlight and that flashlight is a Convoy S6, also modified with the same type of LED and, um, and driver. I will just show you how they look like, both of them, so that you can see the differences. In this case, the, the modified lights. So on the left you have the Convoy S6 and on the right you have the Eagle Eye modified and now I will compare the S6 with the Olight Javelot Mini. Just trying to, just two hands for so many flashlights. So again On the right side, the Convoy S6 on turbo, and on the left, you have the Mini Javelot. Again, taking a look at the tree, you see it's different what you have, and also here. More defined hotspots, lots of spill. This one has less spill. You see there and now I will show you them in a longer range 
So in front of us we have a, well, a long range of space, completely dark. This is what the Eagle Eye modified does. Those poles over there are, I don't know, 150 meters. And this is what the Eagle Eye does. And let's see what the Olight Javelot Mini does. Completely different illumination. I'm sorry for the camera that is freaking out. So you have a really pleasant and long range beam. This one reaches 200 meters, that are the trees on the back of that field. This one, well, it reaches there, but not so in a, in a defined way. And now I will use the convoy, also on the right side, convoy S6. And then the Javelot Mini. I will compare three of them. So it's the Javelot on the left, the Eagle Eye on the middle, and the Essex on the right. I'll try to join them over there. And well, I'm really pleased with uh, the Javelot Mini. It can be used in search situations. Of course, it's a small flashlight, so um, a battery with low capacity, at least for long periods of time. But you can see everything is defined, even in a long range, which is great. And this is pretty much it. Uh, the rest of the specs and other considerations, you will see it on the uh, on the review on the video review and on the written review and that's it and thanks for watching and have a nice time whenever it is